All right, so this video is not sponsored. I do feel that I have to say that because guys, I am so excited about these new updates to DaVinci Resolve 18.1. However, I do have to say that I feel like there is one thing that Blackmagic left out in this new update, but you guys will have to figure out what that is at the end of this video. All right, so we got some spicy new features that are gonna help us as content creators on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all the different things, wherever vertical content is, they're here to help you. And I'm so excited about this because I kind of feel like these other programs have been up to speed for a while now. Those programs including Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro X. Now for me, whenever I first got started editing, I didn't really see DaVinci Resolve to be this social media video creation tool because I looked to places like Final Cut Pro X, Premiere Pro, and etc. to edit social media content. And DaVinci Resolve for me was a place where you would edit something like a short film or documentary. However, with that being said, that's one of the reasons why I feel like DaVinci Resolve is just now introducing a lot of these features because they've opened up this editing software to be a one-stop shop to all your social media, content creating, and filmmaking needs. Okay, so we're gonna break this video down into a few different categories because again, even as I'm saying it, I'm getting so excited again because some of these things are super awesome tools. And the first one that we're actually gonna talk about is audio. So now in DaVinci Resolve 18.1, we have this new feature called voice isolation. This is a huge update and this is definitely different than any other noise reduction that you've probably had before. Now all the way up into this date, I've been working with this audio plugin from Waves, which allows you to pull out specific sounds in your audio and really reduce the noise with not a lot of manipulation to your voice where you don't sound robotic and things like that. However, the problem with that tool is that I had to run DaVinci Resolve in Rosetta because that plugin was not compatible with the new Apple Silicon chips. So that slowed down DaVinci Resolve significantly for me, but it worked so well that it was worth me taking that performance hit to have good sounding audio. Now, I don't have to do that at all anymore because we have this new feature that literally isolates your voice from any background and it's so easy. You don't have to be an audio engineer of any sort to get clean audio now. Now, just a second ago, I had to stop because a fire truck came by and a motorcycle came by. And so you should be able to hear those noises in this clip that I'm playing right now. Now, all the way up into this update, I've been working with this audio plugin. So now with this new voice isolation tool, you can see exactly how effective this is at removing these different background noises like you just heard. Now all the way up into this update, I've been working with this audio plugin. So yes, this is so exciting that we have this now built into DaVinci Resolve and I'm so happy that I don't have to run DaVinci Resolve in Rosetta anymore and so I can get better performance when editing in this software. Now aside from this insane new voice isolation tool, we also have something called a dialogue leveler. And this is also gonna be a huge help to me personally, because again, I've been using third party apps to do this and it has not been the best workflow. So basically what this does is bring your highs and your lows closer together so that your audio stays consistent in your ears. Now also built inside this tool, they have some noise reduction software as well. And in their demo that they did on YouTube, you can actually see that they had a podcast clip where the audio was recorded way too low. And so they had to bring it up, which obviously brought up the noise floor. So that meant that they had background noise that they had to clean up. And this tool had no problem at all cleaning up that background noise and still being able to use that clip with the voice sounding as good as it could, even though you messed it up in the first place for recording it too low. Now there were a bunch of other audio updates that came in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. And for you guys who are interested in exactly what those audio updates may be, I definitely recommend that you check out Jason's page right over here because he goes in depth about audio in DaVinci Resolve I mean, literally, that's what his whole channel is about. So I feel like he's really gonna crank out some good content that you guys may be interested in if you're interested in audio in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so moving on to my favorite part of DaVinci Resolve, the color page. 
And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably everybody's favorite part. If the color page is your favorite part of DaVinci Resolve, leave a comment below. Now, one of the cool updates that we got is sky replacement. This is super cool, and I think that this is going to be so helpful for people who are real estate videographers or if you're just out shooting a shot in the middle of the field and you don't like the sky, you can easily replace it with either your own sky or they actually have some features for you to add in clouds and add in your own blues and I don't know there's a lot of different stuff that you can do to replace your sky now in the color page and I'm very happy about it. So for me this next one is a big one because I find that I use a lot of tools that are very taxing on my computer and slows it and bogs it down whenever I'm editing in the color page and that is the fact that they've actually increased all the different things like noise reduction, face tracking, and any tool like that, they've actually increased the speed significantly. So now you can actually play back these clips with those effects and not have any issues. Now moving on to our last topic, like I said before, we've gotten some huge updates in the vertical video editing in DaVinci Resolve. Now you've definitely been able to edit vertical video before. This hasn't been a problem and this technically isn't a new thing. But they've made some updates to make it super easy for you to edit vertical video where they've had resolutions built into the software itself. And they actually have export settings where you can check vertical video and it will export it vertically for you with the click of a button instead of having to go in there and manually put in the numbers like I was doing before. Now also in this update, they improved the way that we can upload directly to YouTube. Now they've done this in a few different ways. One of the first ways is they've actually put a button right there that we can click so that it makes our export go directly to vertical video, which is super helpful. Now also they've given us more control in the way that we actually export our video. You can also go in there and you can choose your encoding resolution. And that's gonna be really helpful for anyone who's working on slower Wi-Fi speeds. And they don't necessarily have the file space to export a huge video or things like that. Now what's really cool about what they brought into this YouTube exporting feature is the fact that you can actually upload your own custom thumbnail directly in DaVinci Resolve so that whenever you export the video to YouTube, it actually shows that custom thumbnail. Honestly, this is super cool. I didn't even know that this was a possibility, but we now have it in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. So like I said, I am so happy about all these new features. However, like I said at the beginning of this video, there is one feature that I feel that Blackmagic left out of this update, and to me, this feature is pretty big. Whenever you're scrolling through TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or Instagram Reels, there are not too many videos that you see nowadays that don't have captions on them. So if you are editing in DaVinci Resolve and you want captions, you have to go in and manually put in all of those words. However, in Premiere Pro, you don't have to do that. They have auto captioning, which is something that I really want Blackmagic to bring to DaVinci Resolve. I and mean, honestly, I feel like this is the only thing that's missing from DaVinci Resolve for me to be able to fully get rid of Premiere Pro. But for now, especially since I run a social media company, I still have to use my Premiere Pro subscription to do auto captioning. So Blackmagic, if you're watching this video, we would love to see auto captions in the next update. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am about all of these new updates. And in case you didn't know, you can actually download DaVinci Resolve for free and get a lot of these features that I actually talked about today. There is no strings attached. It is completely free. And this is not a trial. You literally get to download the software for free, which is super cool. And I definitely appreciate Blackmagic for doing that. So go over, download the software, get started editing. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below because I would love to make some more tutorials or some more overviews of DaVinci Resolve in general. But for now, if you're interested in some color grading tricks and tips, then I recommend that you check out this video right over here.